I want to talk about math because a woke fights math. And I want to talk about why they do it. And basically, I know the all woke agenda, ideology, strategy of infiltrating from within was created by the Soviet Union. And what is so special about the Soviet Union class? I know, I know. Yes, of course, they're good at math. So why are they fighting math everywhere else that they want to penetrate? So first, let me walk you through the kind of associations that I had today when I was thinking, what do I want to film? So I'm a bit limited right now. I have a replacement computer, so I cannot edit that easily. So I wanted to just be able to pick a topic that I could just talk about. And I can talk about math for hours, people. I love math. Math is love. Math is life. Math is everything. And basically, math describes nature. Math describes reality and math is a tool and every branch in math is a tool that could be used for something in reality to describe it and to make predictions and, and actually help us decide what to do. And wokeness, I don't know if you saw all the news and the articles and that they think that Math is some sort of a white supremacist subject. Even though some really like mentioning that alge algebra, for example, when you have something that is al something, it usually comes from Arabic. Is it white supremacy to study algebra? If it starts with al, that means that it comes from, it's a word that comes from Arabic. That means like not only white people uh, were doing math and our numerals numerics are from India, I think, and you know, so why fight math? Okay, let me take a step back and take you to three hours ago when I was staring at the ceiling as I do. By the way, if you want to um, learn something in life, you know, to understand something, just like do nothing. Do nothing for a little bit and let your mind wander. Ask yourself some questions. You don't know where it's going to take you, really, because if you're always busy, your mind is always busy, you're watching stuff, you're thinking about things, you're doing something, you don't have that association chain that you sometimes need to realize, like, yo, I'm onto something. Okay, so this is what I had. I started thinking, right? After making this video yesterday, I was like, you know, democracy has a very obvious flaw. And that flaw is that it requires high level of education in society. If you don't have high level of education in society, democracy falls apart right away. Right away, because then you are subjected to your resentment, to your emotions, to chasing the boss, you know, because the boss doesn't give you what you want without understanding that the boss has limited resources, that he cannot, like, he has to manage, things like that. How do you learn to understand that? Through education. And yesterday on my uh, How the UK Fell video, I explained how um, the foreign powers penetrated law school and penetrated, I don't know, philosophy, history, gender studies, whatever. And there you can sell those ideas that sound nice, like equity, and things that, you know, like people who live real life don't understand. But here's the other thing they've done. They are fighting math. Why is it important? Why are they fighting math? And why did the Soviet Union, who knew how important math is and understood what math really is, is genius enough to know that you cannot trample a society without limiting un the understanding and the, and the study of math, specifically. Because, like I said before, math describes life. And I was thinking, you know, those demonstrations, they are like, they, they really say, how can you collectively punish a whole society for something that a ex like a few people did, whatever, it, whether it's true or not. 
But then I thought, but like, why are you collectively punishing every white male by um, bashing? And then, you know what, I thought, you know, that's just hypocrisy. And I was thinking, why can't they see this hypocrisy, this obvious hypocrisy that they don't want collective punishment to be applied in one scenario, but they're okay with collective punishment to be applied in a different scenario. And I was thought, that's logic. And that's, lo with logic, you can understand hypocrisy. And what is logic? Logic is math. It's a, it's a study, it's a computer science, binary logic, everything that is making our logic, like our software in computers, is actually a, a derivative, is, is, is part of the branch in mathematics that's called logic. And yeah, so with logic, we can find hypocrisy. So if you don't study math, that skill might not be there. And it's true for so many other things like statistics, if you don't know how to understand statistics, if you don't know what statistic is, if you don't know what probability is. And I really can talk about any, like also you have deduction in math, you have uh, functions, function plotting in math, you have so much in math. And people tend to forget that math is not just equations that are there to like drive you crazy. Math is a description of reality. And because it's a description of reality, we don't even have a unifi unified math theory. All those branches that I, was, uh, that I was talking about, we don't even have like something that connects them. We don't know like how to make one math. So basically every area in our re reality, in our life, has a different tool mathematical tool that helps us to describe it. Yeah, so you don't know logic, you could turn into a hypocrite. Of course, you want to fight math. This is where you study those things, which I know um, most, a lot of people, even if they study math, are not too good at math to begin with. But a lot of people are just good enough to, at some point, be like, wait, uh, one plus one is not three. Uh, this, this part I got, you know? Um, but if you fight math, it's like, it's genius. You really dumb people down to not understand anything about life. If you go from A to B and B and then B goes to C, then you know that A leads to C. But I saw so many woke people who cannot understand that. They were like, yeah, understand. A brings B, B brings C. But then that leap where like A brings C, no, I don't get that part. And there is a lot more to logic because we also, the, like our laws and things like that are built on axioms. And then from that you have a um, logic tree and a lot of way that, ways that you apply rules to society and you understand what needs to be done in different situations. So I kind of want to know if I'm like the only math nerd here, or even if, you know, you don't have to be a math nerd. It, it, there is data and there is metadata. Oh, I'm such a nerd then. Okay, so basically what I'm saying is that you can understand how math is used, and that might be good enough for you to not be confused by information and without even knowing how to solve any real problems, you know. Sometimes just understanding the logic behind something is enough to understand reality better. So I really think like there are a lot of tools in statistics, like how statistics, how it can be used to manipulate us, why probability is important when you uh, do something like gender studies or like um, race, race, whatever. I don't believe in races personally. I think there is just one race, human race. But I do believe in ethnicities and cultures and probability is also important in those cases. And then you have ability to deduce information. That's also math and also building models and logic the most basic thing you need for to understand politics and things like that and law is logic really 
So let me know if you want me to talk about math. Okay, I love math. Math is fun, I promise. Comment, like, subscribe, share. Watch my other videos, follow. <laughs> okay, see ya. Tell me what you're interested in. I know I saw there is a long list of things and topics I need to talk about, I wanna talk about, and I'm gonna talk about it, but you know, thankfully, I'm not going anywhere, so I'm going to reach everything at one point, so no worries.